as you might know, this original LCD VF was our first product and this was the LCD screen viewing loop for all this uh, HDSLR film craze or uh, and and this this enabled us to actually by now develop our new electronic viewfinder. So this this, um, this viewfinder has internal uh, batteries, four time AA batteries and has external power option. External power option is uh, really wide band DC input so you can have your brick batteries, whatever batteries, up to 17 volts when fully charged. And it has HDMI input, HDMI output, and of course right now we have this uh, um, wireless HDMI transmitter from our friends, Swedish Chameleon, and this is really great uh, little thing. But on we go with the viewfinder features. Uh, of course zebras for exposure. All these zebra functions are tweakable from the menus. You can also have a, a red peaking for focusing and you can have the red peaking over black and the white uh, background. The main actually technical thing about this is it has no latency, no image lag basically. It is really really fast and the operator can see the images immediately, no, no frames lost. It has. Um, this uh, economy mode to save some battery power when you're using it as a viewfinder. It basically dims down the backlight so your eyes won't, uh, won't be sick after using it for hours and hours. It, it has um, its own um, uh, configurable um, power down system. If you turn off uh, your camera, viewfinder will turn off too so you won't lose uh, your batteries in accident. So, and uh, as you can see, the startup time is under one second. It's really, really fast. If it's turned on by the automatic system, you can immediately turn it back on. Of course, it has um, all the crop lines, composition lines, different modes for anamorphic shooting. All the buttons on the side here can be reconfigured. You can map custom uh, presets under these buttons. You can have up to five sets of preset settings under one uh, saved uh, custom preset. And then you can recall all the custom presets from here. It also has this uh, little loop on the OK button, so you can zoom into the, the signal and then move it around and recall that position. Basically everything is customizable. If you have um, different signal with the black bars on the size or exposure info, you can manually crop these out and uh, the camera will automatically save it for uh, four different uh, resolutions. Basically it's, it's all automatic once you trim uh, your custom, uh, custom crop of the signal. And of course here we see the, the configurable uh, standby modes, power off, uh, minutes or seconds or hours 